Hello, welcome to our lessons where we are looking at mathematics, preparing people that are writing their GC exams. Okay, so today we are looking at um, the sum of the geometric means, geometric progression. Okay, so I have provided, I have not thought of, I have not thought of it as necessary to look at the process of deriving these formulas. They are not proven, proven that they are workable. So. The only thing that I want to emphasize is just in the manner that I wrote them. These formulas, remember that they come in paper two, and um, they're given to you in the exam. They're given to you in the exam and um, you have just to refer to the cover where the formulas and you'll be able to, to get your answer. So now, you need to have a calculator. For me, I do not have one. So maybe at some point I'll be leaving it if it's difficult to simplify. And it's going to consume much of our time. So when R in its absolute form is less than 1, we use this formula. Okay? Okay, let's look at uh, something like this one. Okay? we we'll look at something like this one here. And maybe we we'll also look at something like uh, 1 over... Okay. So, when you look at this one, if this is our R, if this is our R here, and also this is our R, we are looking at it in its absolute form here, okay? So, which one? We are looking at conveniences here. That is, this is one and the same formula, but it's easier to work with when you consider this, when you consider this, Okay? So we are saying in this case here, this is less than what? This is less than 1. So we can easily work with this here. If you have got this that appears to be greater than 1, you better apply this second formula. I've just given an example. So let's come straight away to the examples that we are considering here. Okay? This, 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 this. When you look at it, we want to find the sum of the first eight terms of the GP. Now, when you look at the formulas, we've got A, R, and N. N is 8. A is the first term, which is 12. R is the common ratio, which we are supposed to work out. It's T2, which is the second term divided by the first term. The second term, it's what? Negative 6 divided by 12. This is going to be simplified. We are going to get negative 1 over 2. Okay? Negative 1 over 2. This is what we are going to get. So in this case, we are going to use, if you want, you can even sometimes, when you are using a calculator, it will be negative 0 0.5. That is what you get. So now, after we have done that, then we come to look at these formulas. It is better because we are saying this one, it is less than 1. R here is less than 1. So we better use the first formula here. It will be easier. So what do we do? We begin to solution. We begin to replace our first term. What is our first term? Our first term is 12. Then 1 minus... Uh, R8 over, what do we have? We have 1 plus 0 0.5. Because this is a minus and we have a minus here. That's what I'm doing here. Okay? That is all what I'm doing. So 12, we have R, what is our R? Our R that we found is what? Negative 0 0.5. That is our common ratio. Then we have 8 there. Okay? Then we need to work out this part now. We need to work out this part. We need to work out this part. Let me see if I can find a calculator on another phone. Let me see if I can find a calculator on another phone. Uh, 
put your password there, my friend, and open the calculator also for me. So we need to proceed now there. Of course, down here, this is going to be 1.5, and we're going to have 1 minus. I want to simplify this part and see what we're going to get. Okay? Um, I have a calculator. So let's simplify this part where we have, um, I'm trying to put um, negative. 0 0.5 in brackets then to the power 8 huh. okay so for me here what i'm getting is minus 0 0.00390625 close brackets that is what I'm getting there. Okay? Then we go on and say, uh, we go on now. So what I'm going to do now, I'll work out with, i work out what is on top here. We are going to have 12, then open brackets, 1 minus, I hope you are also doing that, 0. Point Zero zero three nine zero six two five close brackets. Okay, so when I worked out what is on top for me, the calculator is giving me over. 1.5 so when we divide here the sum of the first eight terms according to me so we divide the answer by 1.5 for me and this calculator we are getting the calculator is giving me 7.96 75. If this is what is your calculator is also giving you, please try to verify these figures. Uh, if this is what your calculator is also giving you, in the exam, they always advise that uh, such questions need to be, you, you give your answers in three significant figures. So in this case, we're going to have 7.9. You round off here, you have 7. Correct it to what? Three significant figures. Okay. That is what is going to be our answer in this case. So basically, this is the process that we have to follow even for the second one. Okay, so let's try to, to see if we can work out the second one also. Let's try and see if we can work out the second one also. So, for the second one, the process is the same. We have to make sure that we find, you know that we need A, we need N, and we need R. For our A, it's the first term, which is 2. Our N, it is 2, the same 8. Then R, for R, we are saying it's the second term, which is 2, 1 over 4, divided by 2. So we convert this into an improper fraction, it's going to be 9 over 4, divided by 2. 9 over 4 multiplied by 1 over 2, okay? Because this is it, so we find the reciprocal there, which is going to be 1 over 2. Then when we multiply, what do we get? We are getting 9 over 8. 9 over 8. 8 is what will be our R if I am not mistaken. If I am not mistaken, that is what is going to be our 
that second term divided by the right so now after that then we get to our formula let's look at this one now is it less than or greater than one this one is it less than or greater than one if you divide this one it's going to be one point something because eight can go into nine so all the whole numbers and the, the proper fractions though they are better off that i mean they're less than e. so we are looking at this we are looking at this okay so this is the formula that we are going to apply in this case this is the formula that we're going to apply in this case because that is greater than one okay so now we start our a is the first term which is e, two open brackets then we have our common ratio which is e, nine over nine over uh, nine over eight 9 over 8, that is our common ratio. We are using this formula here. And then 8 to the power 8, the power 8 here, minus 1, minus 1 over, take note, 9 over 8 minus 1. This. Okay? That is what we are working with. That is what we are working with. But the calculator is helping us to do the work. So, what do we have? We have... Okay, if you want, we can, if it, we can change this one to 1.125. The power 8 minus 1 over again 1.125 I mean minus 1 okay you change this one 9 over 8 into a decimal you do that so now from there I'm working out 2 I want to work out this part alone this part alone which is uh, open brackets 1. Point 1, 2, 5, close brackets, to the power 8. To the power 8, then minus 1. To the power 8 minus 1. Um, to the power 8 minus 1, I'm getting 1.566. Six. Six. Please bear with me. I've rounded this off. I've rounded this off to um, then over um, this is supposed to be one here. Over um, 1.125 to that minus one of course you definitely know that this and that will go so you have zero point okay then now we can multiply you know this can be multiplied by that then uh, so i'm going now to multiply two multiplied by this one two multiplied by one point five 66 I am getting 3.132 divided by 1.0.125 what are we getting because divided by 0.125 for me here I'm getting 25.056 when you write this to three significant figures, it's going to be 25.1, then you say three 
significant figures. Three significant figures. So I hope these are the figures that you are also getting. If those are not the figures, then it means uh, something is wrong with my calculator or your calculator. So basically, these are the questions. But in the exam, a question will come like this, then there'll be like, let me give you an example of what I want you to try to work out. Um, look at these questions from question, uh, I think, is it six? These are the questions that I even, I don't know why. To, this was one, two, I haven't changed that question. So start from this one, six. Start from six, which is supposed to be three. Then up to seven. To seven there. Those are the only questions you see. That is how questions may come. So you first find... Like question seven, how do you find the value of X and stuff? Those things I've presented them in the previous lessons. So you have to be coming from somewhere. That's very important. You have to be coming from somewhere so that you don't have issues. Okay? So, thank you so much. We are remaining with two more lessons to come to the end of this topic. Okay?